what's up guys welcome to life of rod and today's episode i'm bringing you how to become a professional bowler now anytime i go out and bowl with the friends or with the school and family and you know they're always asking like oh are you a professional bowler where where'd you learn how to bowl like are you in a league yada 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 and the answer is no i picked up bowling as basically as like a like a hobby honestly like it started off with just going there for fun and now it became like a big hobby to the point where I got my own balls, shoes, and bags. So today's episode, I'm just going to teach you or show you how to be a professional bowler and the equipment you need to do so. Let's go. Okay, so before you begin bowling, there's a couple items you're going to need. A pair of shoes. Usually bowling shoes are made for less slipping on the lane because it can get kind of slippery out there. Second, you're going to need a bowl. Having your own bowl comes with a little more of your way of bowling. So you can bowl how you want to bowl with your own ball. I know like a lot of the house balls, which is what they call the balls that already come at the bowling alley, uh, usually don't come with a lot of spin. This bowl is really made for spinning so it gives you a lot more curve when you're bowling onto the lane and you can adjust it to where how you want to do it basically and last maybe like a bag to put your ball in or your shoes in you know to leave it all in here and a mine comes with like a side pocket so you can put on like like your belongings in there and then in the middle is where you put your ball and your shoes once you get that figured out you begin bowling So it's good to make sure that a lot of the stuff is off your wrist so that nothing gets in the way when you're throwing or like just getting in the way period from getting caught on anything like that. First I'm going to show you some different ways people bowl. So a lot of people usually when they're bowling for fun use these two fingers. Now that's the wrong way to bowl. That's like the first wrong way to bowl. Usually you use these two and that's because you can get your own grip on the ball. So now you have your two finger, two finger bowlers and you have your three finger bowlers. Two fingers go in here with your thumb or you can use just two fingers and control yourself. Now for me personally, I use just two fingers because I like to get my own spin on the ball. Now, I'll show you how to line up. So you can line up on the left side, you can line up on the right side or the middle, whichever you prefer. It's easier, it just depends on the way you bowl. For me personally, I line up on the last dot to the left. And I'll put it straight forward and then put my other foot right in front of me. I'll turn to the side just so I can be a little bit more stable. And then take a couple breaths, you know, just to breathe a little bit. Now, the going up part it just depends on you. A lot of people just feel like you're just walking up, but if you walk up and confuse yourself and try to get too fast, it's gonna mess you up. I personally like to start off with my right foot. And then I can end on my left. And it makes it a little bit easier so now the execution now you can bowl like I said the numerous ways that I showed you but for me personally I bowl with two fingers and the spin so you want to put it in your hand get a good grip on the ball make sure like you can really palm it in with it and so forth and then the two fingers inside is what helps me guide it so I personally bowl to get spin so that's just how I do it. I mean, I'm a right-handed bowler, so of course that's gonna spin, that's gonna come this way. So I kind of line up at the last dot, like I said earlier, and I'm gonna throw it this way, just start the spin back this way. And the more spin you put on it in your hand, the better you're gonna get. All right, so now with this, as you see, sometimes you're not always gonna get a strike. Sometimes I don't always get strikes. Now, with this, you don't necessarily always wanna use the same ball. So with the one that I started with, you don't want to use the same one because this is a 14 pound ball. You want to use a 14 pound ball to pick it up. It can, but you're not. So this is where you get somewhat of a lighter ball, which we call a spare ball. So in the spare ball, this is when it's easier, a little bit more controlled, and you can still throw it the same way, but it's to pick up like your spares. So this is just a little bit more of like a controlled ending. Now your execution at the end, usually you see my leg, swing out and that's just to control I guess body balance but basically I've showed you all the steps to become a professional bowler now we're just gonna bowl a 
well, I hope that helped you guys keep the Rational Bowler sections to myself. I look forward to seeing you come out here. And if you want to bowl, you know, let me know. Thank you for tuning in to Life Abroad. See you next time. Thank you.